what's up everybody and i'll be honest with you i have a confession to make i went and watched winnie the pooh blood and honey 2 with low expectations and i have to say i do really think that that movie is a step in the right direction and that movie is a very enjoyable movie because the first movie of winnie the pooh blood and honey i did not watch that movie because i saw all the horrible reviews i saw that it had three percent on rotten tomatoes i saw all the disgusting reviews that were being thrown that way so i had to you know with instinct not go into that direction and watch a movie so ass that it'll waste my time but it seems that the directors and the writers and the makers of the movie listened to the feedback of their first movie built upon it and actually put out a movie that is pretty enjoyable and it's very gory, very violent, very insane from start to finish. And this movie is directed by Reese Frank Waterfield and it was written by Matt Leslie. And the reviews of this movie is very shocking. So right now, currently as I'm speaking, the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes are 100% flat. It has not went down to 97% throughout this whole day and on imdb it's sitting at like a five or a six out of ten rating so whatever they did that built upon their feedback was a step in the right direction because their budget was completely upgraded from the last movie as you can see with winnie the pooh's mask you know the first movie winnie's mask looked like it was poorly made with low effort but in this sequel winnie actually looks like a monster that can make kids and adults have nightmares and despite the upgraded budget you can still tell the special effects are a little amateur by seeing tigger's tail you know his tail was definitely made from cgi and, and as you can see it you know moving you can instantly know and tell that it looks completely out of place but the owl in the movie his upgrade is good too in my opinion he looks very scary he looks very menacing and in my opinion he kind of looks like you know the main villain from the terrifier franchise and like you know the characteristics of winnie the pooh like he felt like michael myers to me because of how he was such a silent killer you know he was like a stalker killer you know he would wait you know for his victims you know to go to some certain place then he will kill them when they least expect it tigger in my opinion felt like freddy krueger due to his ferociousness and due to his like him hopping up and down him jumping up and down feeling like a jackass as he's killing people you know the owl to me feels like pinhead because he always does these long monologues before he kills his victim and you know pinhead always did that before you know he killed his victim as well but piglet i kind of liked him the least because he felt kind of like you know a dumbass you know but he also reminded me of leatherface so you know it, i guess it kind of balances out in my opinion but you'd be surprised to hear the vision that these directors have for this franchise because since their last movie they got horrible reviews but they somehow made a very good decent profit that it now led them to make a sequel winnie the pooh blood and honey to this movie but i ain't gonna lie due to these good reviews now their plan that they have it might come to fruition because these guys are planning a whole cinematic universe called the twisted childhood universe and their upcoming movies they are very very like outlandish but since you know they did do a good job of this movie it's kind of making me interested their upcoming movies consist of peter pan's neverland nightmare bambi the reckoning and pinocchio unstrung and they even have their own avengers type team up movie called <laughs> pinocchio's monsters assemble so i wasn't even gonna lie man me i do like good content if i see you know a movie or a project that builds upon the feedback builds upon the reviews and actually you know learns from the last mistake I will actually give it a try because I didn't give the first movie a try and I gave this one a try. So now I'm going to have to, you know, keep on trying to come back 
to this franchise because this movie was completely gory from the start to the finish they used practical effects very good and their creativity surprised me especially when i saw winnie use a flaming chainsaw to kill one of his victims and the movie's like story or little plot that they had is that this character named christopher robin and winnie the pooh are tied to each other because winnie's origin was explained and they also explained that the citizens of ashtown played a part in the creation of these monsters winnie owl piglet and tigger in the 100 acre woods and due to christopher robin revealing their existence the citizens are now hunting them which in turn is causing the monsters to hunt the citizens so i wouldn't even gonna lie man if you want to watch a slasher movie that is not to the budget and the high prestige of the halloween franchise nightmare on elm street franchise and the friday the 13th franchise you want a little b show or a little b level movie that is like more of like the terrifier franchise i wouldn't even gonna lie give this movie a shot because they did learn and built from the feedback from the first movie man as the end of the video man i'm out peace